Hey everybody. Today's video is going to be uh, a little different. It's a sad time here in my art studio in that I lost my little friend, Phoebe. Uh, yeah, she uh, was 15 and a half and as a pet owner, we know this. We know that they don't get to live as long as we do. But I won't lie and say that somehow it did take me a little bit by surprise. And um, so today's video is gonna be dedicated to Phoebe. And uh, so if you don't remember Phoebe, she was in the, uh, she was in one of my earlier videos. Actually, it's one of my best videos that shows up on YouTube of painting a little white dog. She shows up in a lot of my videos. Either you hear her barking in the background or I think even in the last video of painting the golf course, she was uh, unimpressed <laughs> by my painting um, a golf course. But yeah, um, it's, it's gonna be really difficult for me for a little while. I just didn't get it all done. I just couldn't get it done this week. So I apologize, but I promise I'll be back on track next time and I will have a new video for you guys and um, got a lot of work to do. It's that time of the year. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you some fun pictures of Phoebe and I here in the studio and even little video clips. But again, uh, it's, this is a tough time for me, and uh, if you've loved a little dog or had a special uh, bond with your pets, you'll understand. So, again, thanks for joining me, and I'll just let you watch the video, okay? And know that I'll be back on track next week. Okay, bye. What can I say about Phoebe? She was the most awesome dog. I don't think there'll ever be another one like her. She was always with me always. She came to work every day and here she's at Pals getting a hot dog. <laughs> she loved her hot dogs and uh, yeah she was just totally awesome. She was in for anything. He, she even let me give her her hair haircuts. I didn't take her to a professional groomer because she'd get too stressed out. She was even featured on my piano that I painted for the uh, city of Kingsport and my friend Jesse ended up with the piece after the piano was destroyed. She loved coffee. She loved going to get her Starbucks and she'd get her little puppuccinos. And Phoebe is not at all impressed with the fact that I'm painting a golf course. Yeah. Phoebe preferred sitting on my lap when I painted. She preferred sitting on my lap when I drove. She was with me all the time and she was even there underfoot when I was having clients receive paintings or going to a parade or having her hair done. She was always, always into everything. Hey Phoebe, what is it that you like the best? Is it the cheese? I'm not used to seeing you with your mouth open and you're so excited about cheese. You like cheese? Can you speak? Speak. 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 You gonna speak? No? You look so excited because you love cheese. Phoebe even put up with all my stupid antics and selfies. She was a very patient dog. Now listen, you have to sleep with me tonight, okay? You have to. Mama's on a little trip and she'll be back soon. But until then, yes, thank you. Until then, little Miss Thing, you have to stay down here with me. Yes, down here. I know you don't want to, I know you'd rather be with Mama, but you have to stay down here with Hannah. That's the rules. So we like him. All right, crawl in the lap. Okay, are you gonna be good? Are you gonna calm down? Stop shaking? And go to bed? All right. Oh yes, she gave the best doggy kisses. You might recognize that picture from her painting on the video. She just always was, you know, she loved going to Lowe's, you know, she just liked going wherever I was. It didn't matter. She just wanted to be there. And that's the most awesome thing about a dog. I mean, she was just, she loved having frozen yogurt. Yeah, she was spoiled. But you know what? That was the fun part. She just was so good and she just loved being with me. There'll never be another one. There just won't.
Phoebe's dog bed at the studio was right underneath my easel. She was always funny. She'd get up on the table sometimes so she could see out the window. Yeah, that was spring when the flowers were blooming, and she'd watch me drink my cocktails <laughs> with quite wonderment, with just amazing wonderment. She just wanted to be wherever I was and even drive in my car. You know, she was a very talented dog. And there she is in her, her bed underneath my easel. God bless her. Well, guess who's turning 15 years old today? It's my little sweet Phoebe's birthday. And so today she gets extra tummy rubs because that's how she, that's how she rolls. And it's tough as they get older and we start noticing things like cataracts in their eyes and they slow down a little bit, but there she is. She's sitting on my lap. That's what she liked to do. Or sitting in the chair looking out the window at the studio because she's, you know, protecting me. She always was guarding. <laughs> always. Now on this day, she, Hannah was moving uh, out of the house to go to her dorm and Phoebe was all distraught. So she decided she'd go ahead and sit in the suitcase. That way she'd make sure she'd get to go too. She was just such a funny dog. She had, she had a really good sense of humor, actually. Uh, she was something else. Baby does the commando creep. There she goes. She's creeping along. She likes to do commando creeps. And then she's begging Jesse, please pet me now. Go ahead, creep, Phoebe, creep. She's a little creeper. Love, love, love Starbucks. And she really did give the best doggy kisses. Always. She's such an awesome dog. I don't know what I'm going to do without her. The best darn studio dog that ever walked the face of this earth is that dog right there. It's Miss Phoebe. This is going to be a tough one. Because I did her grooming at home, she would get brushed out, haircut, and then a bath. And here you can see she's still wet from her bath. Very, very patient girl. Very patient. Yep, there she is in her bed. And this was not too long before she died, actually, this picture. And more tummy times. Yeah, there's my little sunshine dog. I love her. There will never be another dog as awesome as Phoebe. She just truly was awesome. And like I said, the only thing she ever wanted was just being with me. Uh, I'll always cherish my time that I got to have with Phoebe. And this picture was taken this past summer, and that right there is Phoebe. She always, you know, I'm having my cocktail. She's just sitting out, surveying the world, and guarding me. God love that dog. She was awesome. Thank you, Phoebe, for 15 wonderful years.